So uh, my name is Cormac McGowigle, I'm teaching on Manufacturing and Mechanical Engineering and Renewable Energy Engineering as well in the McGee campus of Ulster University. In our world, every single thing we have, from our mobile phones to our cars to even the shops we go to, some kind of engineering component in them that are designed by our students. You look around, we've had past students go to companies like Williams making racing cars, we've had students going into Terex making quarry equipment to develop roads. All of those students have studied here on our site, gone through doing both practical and doing uh, theoretical work, with the theory backing up the backed up by the practical. In this particular semester I was focusing in on the manufacturing processes module and within that module the students learn the background, the materials, all the different options are available. So they take something from a concept idea, they learn how to develop that idea, actually is it going to work, is it not going to work, how to develop it and then they actually develop it. So we're starting on a basis of design, maths, implement. So it's those three kind of core pillars that we're looking at. But the whole aspect of it is without the theory, there is no practical. There's no reason to do it, there's no development. We're trying to teach that level of understanding of why do you make it like this, how do you do it like this, what's the best method to do this. So we'll actually take students from both the manufacturing and mechanical engineering degree as well as the renewable engineering degree and they'll work together using their different skills to develop projects right through the four years of their time here. None of these large pieces of machinery are developed by one person, they're developed by multiple teams of people, so we try and instill that ability to divide out work, to work as a team. Not even a mile away from McGee, we have the Seagate site. Seagate takes numerous students from us every year. So we go out on site visits, we'll make sure the students are supported through the process. Personally, I went out to e &I Engineering to see three of our students on placement at the moment. Those students are working alongside graduate engineers doing an actual graduate role, so they can learn exactly what they're going to do when they finish. They're given an opportunity as anybody else would in the company and it's great to see that our students are capable, without even finishing, completely being finished, to undertake this work. They're working placed in teams in high intensity manufacturing environments, so they can't be dead wood, they can't just wait about, they need to be involved and they're really, really stepping up to the mark. So when they come back from industry, we tend to find that, well first of all, they're a lot more punctual because you can't be late to a job. They know when to expect, they know exactly what to ask for and they know how to work on a team. As they sort out their team, they divide out their roles, they divide out their duties, they're very, very capable when they come back. We'd see an awful lot of production engineers, manufacturing engineers and designers coming out of our courses. So we'd see people go into companies like Terex, Stryker Medical Companies for manufacturing, we see people go into Randox, we see people go into Seagate. There's really no limit to where we've seen our graduate school. There's people from developing computer components to developing car components to medical equipment. But some students as well progress then to go on to postgraduate courses like PhDs in engineering, which we're able to offer in the centre as well. A lot of our final year students at the moment have got jobs to go to in June whenever they finish. They've, some of them have even been paid and sponsored to do their final year in university because they've done such a good job on their internship that they've been offered a place back in the team. This year our own final year projects are actually linked to industry and linked to manufacturing. So the students are doing projects that can get them a chance to meet employers, to meet companies and to realise what these are real life problems that exist in companies and that they can try and offer a solution to. So we can offer that. We can also offer, because we have a smaller cohort size, we're able to then meet the students with a lot more student staff engagement time. But we also, the biggest point for me coming here from another campus is we can offer practical abilities. We have all of our students down manufacturing parts, making parts and then designing parts and we're able to support them through that process. So we can, we can give them that kind of a close experience while still getting them the knowledge they need to get out.